Oh, girl, get the hell out of here. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So to kick off the month of October, I am doing a fun set of vampire-inspired nails with a little bit of blood drip on them. They came out so pretty. And I am actually a part of a group of very talented nail ladies. We are doing a Halloween series. We're called the Halloween 13. And every single day, there is a new set of Halloween themed nails. So I highly suggest you check out all these girls, which will be linked down below. And also I am doing a giveaway with this video. Now the giveaway will be held on my Instagram, so make sure you check the link down below and it'll take you right to my page, or you can just click Heather Styles XO. But Double Dip sponsored this and they are giving away six beautiful powders, all the liquids that you will need, so I will ship this out to the lucky winner. So just make sure you go on my Instagram, follow me. I have a lot of fun stuff on there, hair, makeup, nails, you name it. So now let's get right into the tutorial. With this set, I am using a pill base from Vivi Dip. If you don't know what a pill base is, this basically makes it to where you can easily pop your set off after you're done if you don't want to wear it, but a couple of days. I'm definitely going to be popping these off probably not long after I finish this video just because it's not Halloween yet. And this is more of a costume type of nail. Maybe if I made them shorter and not as stiletto-y, I could rock these the whole month of October. So I'm doing a full cover nail today just because I know I'm not gonna be wearing the set very long and it's just super easy and quick. This is a big dupe for the Apre method where those tips are made out of soft gel. Now I use this actual brand's type of nails, the full cover press-ons all the freaking time. Like they are amazing and it's so easy just to build your foundation, then go over with dip powder, with polish, whatever you wanna do. It took a couple of times to learn this method, but I am pretty good at this application now to where my nails will last a good solid three, maybe even four weeks if I left them that long, but I usually always change my nails. But it's pretty expensive. So as a dupe for this method right here, I am using McCart's plastic full cover tips. This method is just so much easier and a lot cheaper. So the first product to get these nails to stick on, I am using McCart's base coat and I'm going to cure the nail tip onto my nail. You can use glue. I just prefer to use base coat. Um, again, it lasts just as good as glue. I just, I, I don't know. I like to use base coat. It's a different method and I get bored and yeah, try it if you haven't tried it. It's really cool. So I just paint my nail with the base coat and then I pick up the tip and I also paint inside the tip. Now, if you want these nails to last, definitely prep your nails with primer, dehydrator, file them, you know, buff them out. You can even get your um, file or buffer and buff the inside of the plastic tip and it will grip a lot better. But again, this set is temporary. So I'm going to cure this nail on just with a little flash cure. And then after I get all of the nails on my hand, I will stick my hand fully in my nail lamp and cure it for 60 seconds. A flash cure is just easier so I can get them stuck really quick and move on to each nail. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about this process because the foundation, I want it to go, you know, I want this to go quick so we can get to the design because that's why you're here. You're here for the design. And just make sure if you're interested in anything that I'm using in this video, I will always link the products down below. I will also be linking all the other nail ladies YouTube channels right in the description box along with all the products. So make sure and go check their channels out, see what kind of fun nails they're doing. They might have a little bit more of a wearable all month long type of nail, but it's fun to do this. I really enjoyed the set. So I'm going to start shaping them into a stiletto shape. I'm not gonna lie. This was my very first time doing a stiletto shape. I am a coffin lover. But once I got going, I think like the last three nails looked a lot better than the first two, <laughs> but it really wasn't too hard. I just clipped the sides and then I started, you know, rounding the top with my file. And yeah, it's super, super hard to show you how to file on camera because my hand is just bouncing all over the place. So. You know, you might need to YouTube someone else's stiletto tutorial if you're looking to find one because this is this is definitely not it. But you know, here it is, fast forward motion. You get the idea and this won't be a 30 minute video. You're welcome. So really not too bad for my first go at stiletto nails. They're crazy long, but I wanted them to be long. So I'm just gonna give them a quick light file, light buff with my mandrel bit and my Melody Susie drill. I absolutely love this drill, you guys. It's super affordable. Interested? Check the link below. 
doing this allows the powders to stick a little bit better and I like to file the cuticle really good. That way they don't look so press on. It actually looks like you took time and sculpted a real nail. We are going to be using Double Dips liquids and I've got two different powders just because I like to use different products. These two colors worked perfectly for what I was going for and the rest of my nail powders were at my shop. So this is what we are using today. Feel free to use any brand you want. The black is from Model Ones. The red burgundy color I'm using is from Kiara Skies. I really, really do love Model Ones powders over Kiara Sky, um, but the price is really good on both. And this is some nail foil and glue. We will use this towards the end of the video, but I'm just showing you all the products really quick. So we're gonna dust our nails off and then we're gonna go in with the actual dipping process. I don't really dip. I do the pour over method, especially when my nails are this long. And I'm just gonna go to town. I'm gonna do two coats of the black color on all the nails. These are the tools that I use. I like to use this little like picker tool to make sure my cuticles are nice and clean. But one thing about the double dip liquids, I have really been enjoying them. They're very smooth and what I like, they don't dry super fast. So this is a very long nail obviously. And if I got a liquid that dried too fast, then I would have to keep going over, going over because the bottom would be dry by the time I got to the top. So I've really been enjoying using these liquids. So just to pour over, most people who watch this probably are dip lovers, you know how it goes. You pour it over the nail, tap it off. Give it a couple seconds just to dry. I'm using my cuticle tool just to kind of go around. One thing with black, it's very messy. Just, just heads up. I have five different dip powders of black and they're very messy. However, this Model 1's black powder is super full coverage. You could see that was just one dip and there was no sheerness to it. It's very, very, um, what do I want to say? It's a good full coverage powder. All of their powders are like this, which is why I picked this black. I use a lot of hair and makeup references, like full coverage tones versus actually saying powders or colors. <laughs> it's just who I am. I'm a hair and makeup artist at heart. I just started doing nails uh, about a year ago. So we're going to do two coats all the way around on every single nail. After that, we're going to start our ombre with this beautiful color. I do love this color. So again, you just apply the dip liquid as normal, tap your brush in your powder, and then just slowly start sprinkling it to where it falls over the nail. I just feel like you get a more seamless flow. There's no harsh lines. I do this twice just to make sure the ombre is not too sheer and that beautiful red really pops on the tip. And then after I do the red, I tap that off and immediately pour the black over the bottom of the nail. So we're gonna do that exact same thing again on this finger, and then we're also going to repeat that design on the thumb. The other nails will have the blood drips. I didn't want the ombre to be too overpowering, so I just did it lightly towards the tip. So much for my pretty background that I was using. It's a mess now. But I get these at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, just the little fun sheets of paper and they make for a pretty background. So now we're gonna go in and activate all these nails because we are done with the dip powders. Make sure to thoroughly saturate all of the nail and the tip. And then we're just going to do a quick little shaping file. It's pretty much already shaped for us because that full cover nail tip, you know, made it easy but just to make it a little bit more precise. Then after that, I'm just going to rub some alcohol, make sure all the dust and residue is off with a lint-free pad. And now comes the fun part. I think it's the fun part. I'm gonna take a matte top coat from Model Ones and I'm gonna put that on the nails that we're gonna put the blood on because I want the blood to be with that sparkly foil. So doing a matte coat will really make those pop even more. So I'm just gonna stick that in my lamp cure for 90 seconds. And now our index and pinky is ready for the blood drips. 
I am using McCart's nail foil. Now, the reason why I'm using this little tool is because obviously the brush is way too big to draw blood drips on. I am not a good artist. I am not a good freehander. That is why I picked this design. So I'm using this little cuticle pin. It's got a bigger ball on the edge and I'm just going to scoop or scrape a little bit of that glue and use this to make it flow, kind of like blood would. And please excuse my big, fat, dirty thumb that's in the way of this. I do hair again for a living, so that is not crap or dirt. That is, you know, hair color stained under my nail. And I could not get a very good angle to show you guys exactly how to do this. My big hands were always in the way, so I'm super sorry, but all I did was just kind of apply the gel and drag it down. Now, I will say this gel is very, very runny. So as soon as I drew one little drip, I hurried and put it under the light so it would cure just for like five seconds. Then I drew another line. Now with this nail, I was able to draw two little blood drips. Then I hurried and put it in the lamp just to flash cure it. And then at the very last bit to complete the design, I did draw a little line that kind of had the blood flowing towards the cuticle. I wish I would have done this on a swatch stick just to show you, but you kind of get the idea. It's really not hard. You could even use a really tiny little brush to apply the drips, but this is just what I picked up. So doing this allows us to be able to use that metallic foil and that's what I was most excited about. So I fully cured the drips for 60 seconds and now we are going to get that pretty red foil and I'm basically just going to tap it on the nail. As soon as you tap and lift off, it just sticks right on it. And it's kind of fun to do it. It's very satisfying. <laughs> I did get a little bit on my skin, but I just filed it away, kind of like where my skin was stained from the black because my cuticles are so dry because I preach to use cuticle oil, but then like I really always forget to kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea, but look how cool that is. It's just a fun, different way to do this type of design. So after doing the foil work, you don't have to cure it. I'm just going to take a shiny top coat and just kind of lightly apply that only where that foil is because I want to keep the rest of the nail matte and this will help ensure that the foil does not flake off or peel off. It just makes it last. You always want to put a top coat over any foil work and this will really help those drips pop like the metallic makes it pop but then putting a little bit of a shiny coat over them will make it extra pop. Pop, pop, pop. And our last step is applying our top coat. This is a shiny top coat. I'm putting that on the middle finger where it's just solid. And then on my ombre nails, I'm going to put this on as well. I'm gonna leave the other nails because like I said, I want them to be matte and that completes this design. I put it in my lamp for 90 seconds, apply some cuticle oil, of course, don't forget that. And boom, you are done. You have some vampy nails. Look how pretty. Oh, I love that ombre and that red. So pretty. And for a dramatic effect for this video, I did take it upon myself just to add a little blood work, just to bring it all to life. I thought it was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Don't forget to check out the other ladies that are in this collaboration. I believe Kate's Nail Corner is up tomorrow, so definitely check her out, see what her design is. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a great week, and stay tuned for more Halloween stuff coming this month.